The question 36 says the efficiency of a car not engine at a particular source and sink temperature is 1 by 3. When the sink temperature is reduced by 50 degrees Celsius, the engine efficiency becomes 2 by 3. The source temperature should be. Dear students, let T1 be the source temperature and T2 will be the sink temperature. Initially, the efficiency is 1 by 3 and it will be equal to 1 minus T2 by T1 which means that T2 by T1 is equal to 2 by 3. In the second case, the efficiency becomes 2 by 3 when the sink temperature is reduced by 50 degrees Celsius which means that 1 minus T2 minus 50 by T1 is equal to 2 by 3 which means that T2 minus 50 by T1 will be equal to 1 by 3. On dividing these two equations, we can find out the value of T1 and T2. Here, here T1 turns out to be equal to 150 Kelvin. And therefore, for this question, option number 2 is the correct answer. Now, let us proceed and solve the further question, which is question number 37. Question 37 says, which of the following options is incorrect regarding the process AB of an idle gas represented by the figure given below? Dear students, from the idle gas equation, we can write down that PV is equal to NRT. Therefore, at a constant volume, P is proportional to temperature and it will be a straight line graph passing through the origin. Therefore, dear students, as per the graph, the process is isochoric. In an isochoric process, the work done by the gas is zero, which means option number one is a correct statement and therefore it cannot be our answer. Option number two says that the density of gas is constant. Dear students, since the mass of the gas remains constant as well, it is inevitable that the density of the gas should also remain constant. It means that option number two cannot be our answer because it is a correct statement. Let us analyze option number three. Option number three says that the slope of line AB is inversely proportional to the number of moles of the gas for a given volume of gas. Dear students, we can see that the slope which will be nr by v is directly proportional to the number of moles and therefore option number 3 is the incorrect statement and hence it is our answer. We can see that option number 4 based on the same concept is the correct statement and cannot be our answer. So finally, for this question the correct answer is option number 3. Now dear students, let us proceed to the next question. Question number 38 says, if delta Q, delta U and W denotes respectively the heat supplied change in internal energy and work done by the gas in a cyclic process then, it first option delta Q is equal to W is equal to 0, second option W is equal to 0, third option delta U is equal to 0, or fourth option which says delta U is equal to minus delta Q. Dear students, in a cyclic process, the change in internal energy that is delta U is 0. It is a fairly conceptual and theoretical based question. And for this question, option number 3 is the straightforward correct answer. Now let us discuss question number 39. The question says, a body cools in 7 minutes from 60 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius in a surrounding of temperature 10 degrees Celsius. If body transfers heats only due to radiation and the surrounding temperature remains constant, that is same, then temperature of the body after next 7 minutes will be. Dear students, using the average method for the Newton's law of cooling, we can write down that initially, the average rate of cooling will be 60 minus 40 by 7 and this will be proportional to, let us assume that K is the proportionality constant. The average temperature that will be 60 plus 40 by 2 minus 10. Dear students, in the second case, let the final temperature be theta. We can write down that 40 minus theta by sin would be equal to K into 40 plus theta by 2 minus 10. So dear students, we can solve these two equations by dividing them and on solving you get the value of theta to be equal to 28 degrees Celsius which means option number one is the correct answer. Now let us solve question number 40. Question 40 says a car not engine whose efficiency is 40% receives heat at 400 Kelvin. If the efficiency has to be 50% then source temperature for the same exhaust temperature should be. Dear students, efficiency can be written as 1 minus T2 by T1, where T2 is the temperature of the sink and T1 is the temperature of the source. In the first case, it is 40 by 100 and it is given that in the first case, it receives heat at 400 Kelvin, which means that the source is at 400 Kelvin. So, this will be equal to 
वन माइनस टी टू बाय फोर हंड्रेड जे स्टूडेंट्स इन द सेकेंड केस द एफिशियंसी हैज टू बी फिफ्टी बाय हंड्रेड एंड इट इज गिवन दैट द एग्जॉस्ट टेम्परेचर इज सेम सो वी कैन राइट डाउन द फाइनल एफिशियंसी टू बी टी टू बाय टी वन डैश विच मीन्स दैट द सोर्स टेम्परेचर वुड चेंज बट द सिंक टेम्परेचर और द एग्जॉस्ट टेम्परेचर रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टेंट On solving these two equations, dear students, we can find out that T1 dash is equal to 480 Kelvin, which means option number two is the correct answer. Now let us solve question number 41. 